What's going on, Commander fans? All right, the day has come for me. I've been waiting for this pro day. Last week, we got Caleb Williams pro day, which was okay. You can't take too much from this pro day, but you do want to dissect and see something. And I know last week we had Adam Peters there with um, some of the other commanders and other teams there. This today at um, Jada Daniels, it was more of Dan Quinn and some of the other guys, which me personally, I like the fact that um, – I like the fact that a guy that I'm kind of invested in a little bit, Jaden Daniels, a lot, there's a lot of whole, a lot of big emotions going on about who will the commanders pick. We already know that Kayla Williams is off the board. So that fantasy was already gone a whole long time ago. But it comes down to Jaden Daniels, Drake May, and J.J. McCartney, which I still think that, for the number three pick, it's going to come down to J.J. McCartney and Drake May. Jaden Daniels, I think, pretty much cut, clear, cut, clear cut number two. He is my guy. But there's a lot of reports going out there say, oh, well, the, the commander front office is leaning towards this guy. Oh, he's leaning towards this guy. A lot of people on Twitter say, oh, well, Drake May is better than Daniels. Um, J.J. McCartney is better than Daniels. J.J. McCartney is better than Drake May. Me personally... All these guys good, but I hear that I'm here to say that I'm all here for Jaden Daniels. I think Jaden Daniels to me, and I said it in my other videos, and I'm going to continue to stand by until I am proven wrong. I think Jaden Daniels to me, he's the best dual threat quarterback that's in the league. He has great presence in the pocket, which and that I'm not going off his pro pro um pro day right now. I'm just talking in game for what I have watched. Now he did lost against Alabama. I think um I mean JJ McCartney almost lost against Alabama too. So it, <laughs> I mean, but Jalen Daniels played in the SEC all year. So it's not like JJ McCartney had a chance to play in the SEC all year because even though you played in the Big Ten, some of your teams in the Big Ten wasn't as good as the teams in the SEC because Jaden Daniels was able to steamroll that. Same thing with Kayla Williams. He played in the Pac-10. Now, if he had stayed in the Big, the Big 12, hmm, could be a little different. But nevertheless, you can't knock these guys from transferring out, playing in, who they stay, who their competition is. They just have to perform. But like I said – Jaden Daniels is my guy. Um, I like his presence in the pocket. I love what he does. I, I love um, he goes to his pro progressions. And that's, to me, that's more important than anything a quarterback. How well you go through your progressions. How patient you, you are in the pocket. You see a lot of quarterbacks in the league now, you know, they're not patient in the pocket enough. They, they, I'm going to just say it. Josh Allen, he's one of them. The dude that has so much talent, so much arm strength, he's a great talent. He's just not patient in the pocket. He wants to be that guy. He wants to be on that same level as Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert. He got all the talent. He, he, he throws a lot. He don't use all his his progressions as well. I think Jim Harbaugh is going to correct that. Lamar Jackson, I think he has got better this year, gotten better this year. I think he could be a little bit better. I think he could learn to be in a little bit pocket, which he learned how to be in the pocket a little bit. He uses legs. I think Jada Daniels is going to be just like that. I think he's going to be better to me than Lamar Jackson. Now, look, I know Lamar Jackson is more of a dynamic runner than Jada Daniels. Jada Daniels is not just a runner. He's more of a situational runner. He runs when there's need to be run. run, And that's where I'm looking for. I don't want a guy just run. They just they always compare him to RG3. But y'all got to understand, if RG3 never got hurt and we went and we won that playoff game against Seattle that year, and I'm a, I, I stand by this when I say it, I think we would have went to the Super Bowl that year. 
because we was a very dynamic team and we was only getting better. We had Seattle dead to right. It was 14 nothing before RG3 re-aggravated his knee. So we would have pretty much we would have beat Seattle really bad that year. But nevertheless, Robert Griffin didn't learn how to slide. That was one of his problems. He had arm talent. He had speed. He was fast, you know. But I just think Jaden Daniels is way better than RG3. He's way better than RG3. He goes through his prescriptions. He passed first, then run second. Same thing with Patrick Mahomes. He would rather pass than run. But when he does run, he can hurt you. And I believe Jaden Daniels is going to be that same way. And see, coming to his first year, I think teams is going to misguide Jaden Daniels. And now, they, especially at his pro day, they know he could throw the ball deep. They know he could throw the ball very well. They're going to have to figure out how they're going to play him because they're going to look, go back and look at his highlights of class of a damn, this dude can't get out the pocket. How do we beat him if we keep him in the pocket? And the one thing I love about Jaden Daniels so much is his command for the game, his presence for the game. He commands the game. I didn't see a lot of that from Drake May when he's at North Carolina. The first sign of trouble he got rattled, it flustered him. Jaden Daniels put up God-like numbers this, this past last year. Drake may struggle in the second half of the season. And I could go back to the Miami game all the time, and I said it. Miami was beating North Carolina until um, they started running the ball on them. And, and um, Janet, um, Drake may started having success, you know, with play action and stuff like that. What Miami was getting to, they was blitzing him. They was knocking him off his rhythm, and he was frustrated. And Miami killed. They suffered that game. But nevertheless, then later on in that season, excuse me, Drake may struggle a lot against a lot of teams. He almost, I think they almost lost to what, Duke with um, Riley Leonard, who's another great, good quarterback that's coming out this year in 2025. So, well, 2020, 20, yeah, 2025. So I look at Jaden Daniel. Yeah, okay. A lot of people, the first thing they say, and I, I'll give Bucky Brooks a whole lot of credit. Um, um, Bucky Brooks breaks down quarterbacks pretty well. Um, and I think that, I think that he, I think with Bucky Brooks, he, he's, he likes to see the intangibles. You know, even Kurt Warner break down a lot from, from him. So my thing is that to see, to see how Jaden Daniels handled his pro day, some people say, oh, well, and I get it. The dude is slim. That's fine. But he put on weight. He's 210 now. And if, if you really look at his pro day and looked at the highlights, you could tell his legs got thicker. Now, he still got that small upper frame, but he's going to probably put on another five pounds of muscle. That's going to make him about 215. He's going to be right on probably, what, the same pace of Lamar Jackson. So with that being said, that's just not the only thing about him. Yeah, he's going to learn how to slide and all of that stuff, and you're worried about that. Hell, I'm more worried about a quarterback that gets in the pocket and doesn't go through his progressions, you know what I'm saying? I, to me, and I said this before, I think Kayla Williams and Jaden Daniels are not that far apart. People raved about Kayla Williams. I saw a lot of flaws in his game. Just like there's are flaws in Jaden Daniels' game, but I don't think they're that far apart. I think they one and two in the draft because of the fact that Chicago's picking first. But you cannot tell me that J.J. McCartney and Jerry May is better than J.J. Daniels. <laughs> you can't tell me that shit. That's not going – I they don't. I watched all of these quarterbacks play. 
I watched them all last year play every game. I watched college football religiously. And it's like, I watched all these guys play. You know what I'm saying? And I, Drake May is not better than Jaden Daniels. He's not. Jaden Daniels has the best deep ball in the, out of all the quarterbacks, the best. He has passed for 22 touchdowns over 20 plus yards. That's most in the country in the um in college last year. So his deep ball is his bread and butter. But as you've seen in his pro day, he was able to hit them slants, the fade routes, the crossing routes. And I love his crossing routes. And if you look at some of his game highlights, you can see he he lo- he could throw across the middle good. He gets in a tight window. The dude can throw the ball. There's no question about it. But the first thing they go to to knock on him is his weight or he's too small. You know, (laughs) shout out to Will Robinson, too, because he makes me laugh because he has real be having some of the best metaphors. (laughs) He called him. He called him. um, um, (laughs) I think I saw the Twitter (laughs) real say that he is. um, He's uh, he he's a uh, he got a supermodel body like Tom Brady's wife Michelle Bunch. <laughs> so um, um, but anyway, I think that's so funny. But Jalen Daniels is going great anyway. We can't. I mean, I think Narg three got knocked for his size too when he came out. You know, but it, it's just what it is. But like I said, I'm not putting too much stock into pro day. I just wanted to see how well he he performed. He did well. He threw the ball, you know, he missed some some throws here and there. Same thing Caleb Williams did last week. You know what I'm saying? You know, that doesn't mean Caleb Williams is going to be not the number one pick, you know. Jaden Daniels did the same thing. I think Jaden Daniels showed what he can do in front of Dan Quinn and them. And matter of fact, I have a clip that I'm going to let y'all listen to that Jaden Daniels was talking about meeting meeting. The commanders. So, uh, Dan Quinn, uh, Cliff Kingsbury, all those type of guys. I uh, just be able to sit in there and really just get to know people. Uh, you know, you, you can see them on TV, see everybody coaching uh, behind the scenes. So, be able to go out there and just have a, a conversation with them. That's the coolest part for me. See, and I like that. I like that about Jaden Daniels. And, and if you, his maturity really stands out amongst anything as an athlete, because you think about it. I listen to him talk and I hear, I can hear Patrick Mahomes a little bit, how Patrick Mahomes talk. Jalen Daniels, the way he was commanding, the way he commanded the pro day with his guys huddling, you know, in control, you know, rallying the guys together. That's what you want. You want a guy, um, That's a leader. You want a guy that's a leader. You want a guy that's going to be able to come in there and gravitize your team. You want a guy that's going to say, hey, when things go wrong, I got you. Jaden Daniels is going to be the guy that makes somebody like De'Ami Brown look good. Jahan Dotson look good. Terry McLaurin look better. You know, whatever tight ends we have. The, the, our dynamic of our offense is going to predicate how well Jaden Daniels translate into Kingsbury offense and the way they use the run and <sighs> excuse me, the way they use the run and the pass. That's going to be something special to see, in which I'm here for it. But I'm not going to oversimplify it. Um, also, you know, Jaden Daniels, you know. Um, he's the only quarterback. He's the only player to have 40 passing touchdowns and 10 rushing touchdowns in college. You know, that's a phenomenon. You know, he had 40 plus touch. He had 40 touchdown passes, second most to second most to Bo Nix this year. So him and Bo Nix had the most passing touchdowns this year. Damn. You know, Kalen Williams didn't even have that. Drake May didn't even have that. You know, so it's it's he passed for four, he passed for what a total of four thousand nine hundred forty six yards a total offense led the FBS. He's the 
he's the only player in, in college that had 12,000 yards passing and 3,000 3, yards rushing. He's, you know, I mean, the dude is phenomenal. You, I mean, if you go, now, if he was weighing, what, two, t- 220, we wouldn't be talking. We would have no conversation. I'm going to say this. If he was weighing 220, he would have been the number one pick right now. Only because his weight is small. He's not. If he was he was 220 and, and did all of this in college, he would have been the number one pick. He would have been the number one pick. And if he didn't took some of them hits that make guys go, ah, oh, man, he probably would have had probably been the number one pick. So my thing is this is that I, I, I'm going to entertain all of these draft scenarios and all of this about, you know, every, you know, people, guys, people on Twitter just posting up stuff with J.J. McCartney, Drake May. Oh, well, wait till Drake May. He's going to ball out. We, and and we're going we gonna to draft him. I understand the fascination of Drake May. He's. He's more like a he, – he's giving me – and I'm going I'm to I'm do this real, real quick because I, I, I haven't did it yet, but I'm going to probably write an article about it on uh, the quarterback, the top four quarterbacks and, the, and, um, that, and the, who they compare to. Um, you know, Caleb Williams, number one, he compares to um, Patrick Mahomes, just the playing style, you know, the, the creativity, you know, when there's nothing there. You know, which Kayla Winsky, he could do that. It, it, and it's something special to look at. Um, also, you got Jaden Daniels. Um, they they compare him to Lamar Jackson. So that's the main thing. You know, some say a little bit RG3. I say a little bit of both. I say a little bit of Randall Cunningham. I say, you know, he, you know, but he's, I think to me, he's a better thrower than all of them guys. To me, he's just a better thrower. Uh, he might not as fast, elusive like Lamar, but you know Lamar, Lamar is sturdy. But I, I think Jaden, you know, he's going to shock some people. Um, you got JJ McCartney. I say that he has Tom. He gives me Tom Brady vibes. I think he the right system, uh, especially you know like a uh, a Denver Broncos system or um, probably Minnesota system. He's going to give you that. That, that kind of guy that's going to manage the game well. He's going to take his shots when need to. He's not a great runner out of the pocket, but he's going to keep you in the game. Now, he's he's a champion, so, you know, he's he got that capability of winning games. So, you know, and then you got, you got um, Drake May. And Drake May, he gives me that, he gives me that, um, that Justin Herbert vibe a little bit. He's kind of like, he has the tools, but he hasn't put it all together yet. I think Drake May will be in a great situation. I don't know if it'd be number three with um, the Patriots because they lead a quarterback. He could be there because I think a lot of people want Jaden Daniels. I think the Raiders, I think Minnesota probably wants him. Um, but I think Jaden Daniels will be gone at two. There's won't be nothing left. But all in all, I think all these quarterbacks are good. But I think Jaden Daniels, to me, just he separated himself. You know, he been separated himself to me. You know, not even watching his pro day. I just went on games that you know I really watched him play a whole whole games this year. So that just mattered to me the most than anything that I could, could suggest. Now, I know Drake Mays, I think it's tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think his tomorrow. So I get to sit back and watch that, and then I get to analyze that game and that pro day. And, you know, but to me, my stance is going to still be the same. It's going to be Jaden Daniels. But let me know what you think. Do you think Jaden Daniels did enough today in his pro day to warrant to be the number two pick? Or you think, um, think Drake May has a – a trick or two up his sleeve. We'll see. But leave your comments below and hit that like button every time I drop a Holocaust video. This is your boy, Live Wild Sports Entertainment. Oh, Live Wild Sports Media. And I'm out. Peace.